it's Hillary and today I am working in the extravagant love devotion kit we um, have this kit in our Etsy store so I'll put the link below if you would like to grab one and join us it is now February it's one of my favorite months favorite holidays coming up for Valentine's Day and so I just love talking about love God's love for us is absolutely amazing and it is just a great time to focus on that and celebrate his love so i am working on a page titled banner of love and i'm using a technique that my friend gail told me about and i think she um discovered it from heather greenwood and it, sh it is taking acrylic paint and mixing it with water and so it makes it more translucent and I'm, I'm not working in my Bible, but I don't really like covering up the words in my Bible or in a devotion. And um, I just like being able to go back and to read them again. And so I thought it was really neat that you can use acrylic paints, but make them more translucent. And so I'm mixing two different shades of blue together. And my goal is to kind of create a sky as a background. Um, the beginning of this devotion on this page, it talks about going to the beach and, and seeing people use kites. I'm thinking about a kite as kind of a banner above us. And so I created this background um, to represent the sky. And then I'm using another technique that's kind of fun. It's using a toilet paper roll and I am painting the edge and I'm going to use it as a stamp to stamp a few hearts in the bottom corner. And so it doesn't turn out like 100% perfect, <laughs> but I think that's kind of cool and it looks kind of tie-dye since I'm mixing the two different blues together. And so I think it, I don't know, it's kind of fun to play with something new. I'm really focusing I'm going to start sharing about it more on Instagram, but focusing on how we can reuse and recycle things that maybe some people would think of as trash, but we could use them in Bible journaling. And so this is one way of doing that using a toilet paper roll to make a heart. And so I'd encourage you guys to try it, save those toilet paper rolls and um, you use it to make something special instead of just recycling it right away. <laughs> so this paper pad is from the Target dollar spot um, from this year and I love the little pink polka dot paper and I'm going to use it to cut out a kite and that's going to go in the corner on this page. So the devotion talks about how each person's kite oftentimes reflects at the beach and reflects their personality and so it says numbers 2-2 tells us that each tribe each of the Israelite tribes had its own banner they're supposed to camp out and live under their banner it was a statement about who they were as people this was God's commandment he wanted them to be reminded of where they came from and originated and so I was just kind of thinking a lot about what does my banner look like and um what what am i showing what am i waving high for people to see in my life whether they're believers or not and so i am i have this little stamp uh, that is a little banner <laughs> it came from michael's from their dollar section it came in a set of four different banners but i love the one that's kind of open and i could have wrote like a thinking now I could have put four there and wrote out love on the banner but um, I just went with putting three down and I just leave them blank but you could decorate them if you wanted and then I'm outlining the kite to make it more distinguished and adding these little hearts on the tail of the kite um, one of the prompts on this page says draw a picture of your life banner or kite what does your life say to others and it's kind of my hope <laughs> that people look at my life and see God's love. That that is more prominent and bigger and 
brighter and higher than anything else people see in my life is that they see his love and so that kind of is represented in the kite that I drew and cut out and stickered on this page. The stamps I'm using I just recently got from Sunshine Stamp Co. They are having a deal. It was like $30 for a whole set of fun goodies, including these stamps. I'd had my eye on these stamps for a long time. Um, I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I'll put a link in the description below. But you can have the outline from the stamp or you can have it solid or combine them. And so it's just a really versatile stamp and it's the perfect size. And so I am stamping out Jehovah Nissi, I think is how you pronounce it. And that means God is my banner. And so another one of the questions says, write out the phrase Jehovah Nissi and write out what it means in your life. And so I was gonna kind of reflect on that as well. Um, I try and include lots of different Bible passages and verses in each devotion to really give you a lot to jump around and think about and meditate on. Scripture kind of touches and impacts people in different ways. And so that's kind of my goal is to give lots of um, verses to meditate on as we're studying God's word. And so the one that stuck out to me um, this time was Psalm 20 verse 5, which says, May we shout for joy over your salvation, and in the name of our God, set up our banners. And just kind of thinking about joy and um, having joy for this banner of love that God has over us. And so as I was thinking about what does it mean that God is my banner, I was thinking about how kites and banners are often flying high in the sky and how God should be like the highest thing in my life, the most important thing in my life. Um, and should be, you know, when people look at me, that is what they see. And that's kind of my hope and my prayer. Have a freebie coming out soon on the blog called Fall in Love with God's Word. And my friend Minerva watercolored the images for it. And so you'll see I'm kind of playing with some of them. It's all about the Bible being a love letter to us. And so there are some different images. And so I actually end up deciding to put a cup um, on the bottom corner. And I also put one of the tabs from the that freebie. And so I'll put the link in the description below for that. And then I just wrote a prayer and did some reflecting. So I hope this um, video encourages you guys to remember that God is um, the highest thing in your lives. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up.